All right, guys, gals, we're outside here. Look what we got here. So this is the new outside deck balcony, um, Juliet balcony, call it whatever you want, that goes outside of the owner's suite. You can see it was all fabricated in steel. We have these giant plates here that basically just get through bolted to the wall. We'll go upstairs here in a little bit. I'll show you the columns that this is going to attach to, but basically it just hangs off the side of the building. You can see we have our little angular frame here. We have all of our toy stickers are in place here. And we also have these little two by two poles that have already been pre-drilled. So what those are, we have an EPA sleeve that's gonna slide down over the top of these that'll make that handrail system. But we also have wire cable for the railing there. So we had to pre-drill these according to the spacing that we're gonna be using on that wire. So everything looks nice, but we wouldn't have been able to do that after the fact. So that's something that we had to pre-manufacture, get all our ducks in a row. So I worked with Brian, who's the uh, site super out here to make sure that we were putting those holes in the right place. But there you have it. We'll have our floor joists go across here. We'll have some nice UK decking go across here. Nice wire railing system with a nice little hand. We'll put that drink on there. To take it with you. So let's jump upstairs and we'll talk about where exactly this is going to go. All right. So we're upstairs here. This is that sliding glass door that the deck is actually going to get bolted on to the outside here. I just want to point out a couple things here. You notice that on both sides of the door, we have these four by eight LVL posts here. And they go floor to ceiling, obviously. We have anchors, top and bottom. We also have the double jack and king stud here that all of this stuff has been ledger locked through to that. So they're all working in unison. So these four by sixes are actually the backbone of where the deck gets hung out. So we're gonna go outside there and when they bring the deck, they'll set it with the crane, but they're literally just gonna be bolting it, through bolting it, through these columns. And that's what's gonna hold this deck out on the outside of the house. Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Got Big Red. We're talking about that balcony. Man, I know it's just sitting out in the yard there, but we're going to have that hanging on the side of the wall here soon. Um, it's going to be in service. The uh, client is going to have the ability to go out there every morning, look out at England, uh, which is only a few thousand miles away, but it is in that direction. And uh, do his morning stretch and greet the day every morning with a beautiful sunrise from that deck. So let's uh, take our good friend, let's dive into uh, the details, and let's talk about some of the thoughts behind that deck. So here we go. Hey everybody, so we got Big Red. Pulled up a couple of the drawings here of that balcony. We have a, a plan drawing here and a section drawing here. Um, I'll do my best to thoroughly explain it, although there's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, you know, out on the job site, remember we went out and we saw that engineered column in the wall. You can see here's those locations of the through bolts, right? On the balcony, remember we had that plate that went and hung literally on the wall, and then that has that steel tube frame down there, and then here are those diagonals that basically hold it together. That's what we were seeing when we were uh, out there in the backyard looking at the steel frame. None of the uh, the cable rail system, the posts, none of that stuff has been installed. We just saw this in its raw steel form. But the thing that I wanted to point out is, is that, you know, we have this wall here and it's an insulated wall where it isn't the, uh, what you call it, where it isn't those columns. So, you know, it, as an architect, occasionally we get to do fun stuff here where we really have to think it through. And, you know, to be honest, we, we don't do these types of balconies on every project. So, you know, they these kinds of projects come along every now and then. So they really force us to think about what it is that we're doing. And, you know, we just basically apply 
our standard set of questions and rules to this situation and solve for it. So one of the things that we like to have is whatever is attached here, you know, it, 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 we don't want that thermal break. It would have been real easy to just come out here and throw a floor joist and let it hang out here three feet. And then we would have had this thermal break that comes back into the house. So when I did this balcony, one, I wanted more of that industrial modern look of the balcony, but I needed it to perform as good as it looked. And so the system I came up with was, how is it that we can just hang it on the outside of the building? So our layer of insulating sheathing that's running up and down the wall can be maintained in continuity, but I can hang this system on the outside of that so that while I have this system, I need to solve for water, I need to solve for air leakage, and I need to solve for thermal, meaning no thermal breaks. So hanging the system out there, solving it for water, the only penetrations we have are those bolts, which are pretty easily taken care of. And, you know, the water and air leakage, again, solve for there. The thermal break, by hanging this out on the outside of the building, it solves for that thermal break system. If we look at it in plan, you can see there's those two columns that we spoke of. And there's that series of through bolts there that basically hold the system on. We have that two inch steel tube frame that runs around the perimeter of it. And we have little joist hangers that got manufactured. You saw those when we were out at the job site. And so we'll just drop in our two by four treated joists there. <clears throat> and then we'll basically clad that deck with the decking material. We have our posts rising up there and there. We'll have our cable rail systems. Um, one of the things that was concerning in the water was if I have these floor joists and I, I create these little pockets that go back, right, that the floor joist then sits in here and, and rises up out of, then how do I ensure that that joist doesn't sit in a puddle of water down at the bottom there. Well, if you notice here, you can't see it, but it says weep space typical, and I call for it out on the plans. On the back side of that, if we if we blew that up and looked at it in plan, it looks like that, but there's actually a space in the back that is open. So we have this little space. We're going to put a little neoprene pad down and then set the joist on top of it. And what that does, if I did it in section, it would look something like this, right? It would look something like that. So then we do the little neoprene pad and that floor joist comes in and the floor joist sits there, but we have an outlet for water out the back side of that pocket so that it can drip, it can dry. The neoprene um, pad, it's only maybe about an eighth of an inch, but it's enough to keep that out, out of sitting down on that metal and allow moisture or bulk water to migrate through the system and holding the joist short of that allows any moisture to then drain out. You know, it's, it's little details like that that take this system and change these floor joists and this framing system from a five-year system to a 20 or 25-year system, right? And that's, those are the things we should be thinking about, right? It's, again, even though this is kind of an eccentric project, we still break it down to the basic thoughts that we would apply to any wall or window installation or light fixture out here. They get exaggerated a little because, you know, it's this custom deck sitting on the outside of the building. But the reality is, is that uh, it really is no different. Right. And we need to treat it the same and answer the same questions. So anyways, that's the detail. All righty, everybody. What can I say? The balcony is going to be pretty spectacular when it's out there hanging off the side of the building. Time to put Big Red to sleep. Until next time, you know, if you haven't uh, checked out some of those videos of mine previously, I suggest 
go back, check some of them out. I try and throw some really good information. It's all um, recent information, right? This is stuff that I'm doing every day, um, you know, kind of inviting you into my life and uh, you get to see what I see and get to see what I do every day. So very exciting. I, I, I feel very privileged to have the uh, job that I do, but go check out my videos. And while you're out there, check out Matt, check out Jake, check out Wade, and check out Brent. These guys are doing some spectacular work. And as much as I love doing these videos, I love checking out their work and seeing what those guys are up to. They're good friends. They're smart guys. They're doing a great job. Go check it out. If you're looking for more information, you can find me on Instagram. I'm there at Steve Basic Architect. Um, I drop knowledge pretty consistently. I try and stay up on top of it. Um, my daughter works for me. She's at Alexandra Basic um, on uh, Instagram. She's dropping details, stuff that we're working on, current projects, a whole bunch of good information there. And lastly, there is the Unbuild It podcast. And Jake, Peter, and myself, that's Peter Yost and Jake Bruton, um, and myself, we host the Unbuild It podcast. We get an episode every two weeks. We drop it, and basically what we do is talk about building science and the building industry. We break it down into some common denominators. We try and give you guys good information between the three of us. I don't know. We, we probably have 80 years, 90 years of experience, um, and we're just trying to drop some knowledge and uh, share what we do every day and uh, what we're thinking about every day. So go check it out, Unbuild It Podcast. But until next time, Steve Basic from The Build Show. Long live our buildings.